The opinions expressed in the following program are not necessarily those of Eastlink Community TV, its sponsors, or partners. Two takes. By my window. Whoa, Lord, Lord, looking out at the rain. Sitting by my window. Lord, Lord, looking out at the rain. I'm just a thinking and a wondering. Whoa. When this farm life became my ball and chain Whoa, I'm tired of working so long for such little pay hours a week for little to no payday. People so disconnected, whoa, supporting that California super highway. We need you at the farmer's market, people. Keep on working those fields. I'm gonna keep on cropping this land. I'm gonna save all the seed I can, people, for when the fit starts hitting that shan. I said, Ooh, I'm a gambling man. I'm out in the fields there gambling all the time. Like it usually takes two or three years to figure out what your land is doing, kind of where water is flowing and, you know, wet year, hot year, the drought years, all that kind of stuff. So, yeah, you become the, the first principle of permaculture um, is observation or hammock time. And the second principle of permaculture is more hammock time. So, yeah, you, you really have to kind of take a look 
uh, our close look and take notes and see where things grow better and see where water's moving and all that kind of stuff. So, yeah, yeah, it takes a bit. Um, I can just sort of picture you out there speaking of hammock time um i'm 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 thinking with you hammock time is not really hammock time per se there's still things going on but i can picture you out there considering all these things thinking about all these things for sure yeah yeah scratching my head and picking up some soil and smelling it which i used to do just as a joke and people would look at me like wow that guy's really in tune but now i actually do smell it because if it's musty or if it's slightly uh, like a fermented smell, it's a bit sweet, and you can really tell a lot from the soil by, yeah, I mean, squishing it in your hands, smelling it. Uh, I stopped short just uh, of tasting it, so. <laughs> yeah, I mean, that's kind of what caught my ear the first time I heard uh, blues harmonica, and then looking into the historical perspectives and all that, yeah, it came out of the fields and it came out of strife and toiling and long hours and all that kind of stuff, which is what farming is. Um, yeah, I'm not doing it for the, the fame and the paparazzi and the glory or anything like that, that's for sure. It's more of a lifestyle. I can help around the farm girl I'm a farm boy too don't you know I got the necessary skills yeah and there ain't a crop that I don't know farmer one how do you deal with the weeds your fields are so clean yeah and your plants are dark green Want to learn from your fields, yeah, just want to be healthy. have trouble with your pets. A farm that looks as good as this must get put to the test. I can make some amendments that will surely protect. Well, we make a lot of kimchi on the farm. It's a Korean delicacy, and we make it all from our own stuff, minus the ginger and the sea salt, but we did grow ginger one year. But uh, kimchi, any kind of nut butter will do. Um, and my new favorite bread, I'm a sucker for branding, I guess. I didn't realize I was, but Dave's Killer Bread, organic loaf blues bread with a guy playing guitar. You can't go wrong, organic, non-GMO. Kimchi, straight out of our certified kitchen on the farm. Most of it, uh, aside from the salt and ginger, was from us. This is the ingredients. You can get even the skeptics that don't like kimchi to eat kimchi if you mask it. So there's your nothing but nut butter. Nice and thick and chunky. And greasy. <laughs> and greasy. I didn't stir it enough. <laughs> so, yeah, I mean, the more uh, kimchi you put on, the more kind of uh, refreshing and less pasty the sandwich will be. Um, and I believe. Refreshing, that's one way of putting it. So, you promised me this is going to be good? Yes, your gut microbiome will thank you. <laughs> okay. <laughs> It'd be hard to digest anything after this. Thank <laughs> you.
It's not bad. Yours is probably better than mine. You can taste the you can taste the kimchi a little bit. I'll put it in there. Um, it's actually quite spicy, so I don't know if that's coming well, through. Yeah, a little bit, little little bit of spice later on. That's okay. That's okay. And the best thing about it, if I have a cold coming on, I'll eat like a third of the jar, and like eighty percent of the time, my cold either goes away, that scratch in my throat, or my cold will last like a day. But it's, uh, I mean, the uh, Ginger's anti-inflammatory. Or the cold doesn't feel that bad anymore. Yeah, right. <laughs> uh, I mean, good food to me, I guess. Um, uh, I mean, first off, I'm not, I'm not a snob. Uh, in my own world, I am. But uh, as far as good food, I, I generally try to find uh, organic food. If I eat meat, I eat meat that I know from farms and friends uh, I know who raise the animals. Um, and is there's not a day that goes by or a meal almost that uh, we don't have some kind of fermented food, uh, probiotic rich food in on the table on our plates. So uh, yeah, that's kind of good food to me. You got to feed your gut bacteria because that's going to be that's the future of diagnosing diseases, uh, mapping that gut biome. So fermented food fermenting culture i think it's all the same thing you know we're bubbling and rising to the top all the time so uh yeah that's a that's a big part of our diet is this a good way for you to get your for concepts sure. across for sure yeah i mean I, I do lots of talks in schools and farm tours and and that kind of thing and i mean the the marketplace is kind of my soapbox but uh the reality of it is is more people are coming out that are teaching me things uh the foodies uh in toronto and hamilton that are are tuned into um, more holistic health and wellness but um, yeah there's lots of mediums to work from and music is one some people tell me don't be political with your music but I'd like to sing about something with more of a message than uh, you know losing my dog or my wife or my house or my farm or what is that when you play a blues song or a country song backwards you get your dog back your house back your wife back so yeah and I mean if it sounds good too and people are listening and uh, especially with the experience and the agritourism stuff we're doing at the farm um, after hearing me talk uh, and kind of understanding where I'm coming from, the music also uh, hopefully speaks to people. So this song is an homage to uh, Otis Redding who died 50 years ago this past Saturday and uh, it's kind of about living around here. Uh, in Dunville. <laughs> Sitting at the river mouth, we're yeah, watching fishermen come in and out. Thinking about that algae bloom, wondering what the hell are we gonna do? Sitting at the mouth of the Grand, yeah, trying to figure it out. Left my home in Steel Town. Looking for a simple country life Planting seeds and praying for rainbow Watching that sun go up and down Sitting at the mouth of the Grand Yeah, just wasting time Start burning out west today. Keep on farming, I'm gonna live my simple way. We should be sporting goodness and change our lives today. Or if we don't, things will stay the same. <laughs>
taking off your shoes and having your feet on soil is is very therapeutic feeling the vibration of the earth it slows you down like there, i mean there's a thing called nature therapy where people aren't getting it and uh, i mean i tell people that are annoyed angry pissed off uppity anxious on the farm said hey relax go in the forest and just hang out for like half an hour an hour and don't say a word just look and breathe and uh you see like there's a possum run by and you start to see the nature and people and then uh the one guy he was grunting and angry came back and said you know what man thanks that really did help so yeah there's there's definitely something to it and uh we don't often in the hustle bustle of city people aren't often connecting with that and it's i think it's really important It's cold, yeah, I got no beer to drink. Quarter to midnight. Better gonna sleep but not me. Yeah, ain't nothing I can do. Gotta try and hold on. Then when there's food scarcity, we need your food dollars in this economy. Yeah, that's something we can do. Gotta try and hold on. Talking 50,000 jobs in our economy. We can do this. Yeah, it's something we can do. Gotta try and hold on. biggest fan members <laughs> yeah since uh two years ago a bunch has happened i've been farming for a long time waiting for when people were gonna have to come and start supporting me and uh here we are but i sold the farm because a uh, relationship that didn't work out and i left uh, dunville and uh, i'm currently on a farm that i used to manage hearts content farm um, and i'm working for the city of hamilton because I uh, uh, got offered a, a job with salary, so 
and uh, having another child as well. So it was like, hmm, going to the city. A lot of things have come to light with COVID. Um, we've been food insecure forever. In Canada, we're not producing enough vegetable seed to plant. Like, we've got enough soy and corn and like bigger grain crops, but if borders tighten up, vegetable seed's not gonna be getting across the border. So I'm trying to save squash seed and as much seed as I can this season. And then we're gonna have to be growing lots of storage crops like our cabbage and beets and turnips and rutabagas and squash and pumpkins and garlic and onions and salsify and carrots and what else are we growing? We're gonna grow it all. I mean, we, we have to, people are gonna be start getting back in touch with their backyard gardens. If borders be getting tired, you better know your local grower. Feed your appetite, you'll be all right. Supporting local farmer, yeah, you'll be all right. But every now and then I wonder. You know it's crunch time. Tell me who controls you? Computers govern our thoughts online. Put down that silly cell phone. Lose the fear, yeah, let's unite. We'll be all right. Yeah, let's get together, people. We'll be all right. And every now and then I wonder. Do we know? Yeah, it's crunch time. Oh, <laughs>